is so weird. I want my drink. I'm quitting. Hey, Pitmasters, we are going to smoke tongue today. Is it going to be good? Let's find out. Normally I would tell you how excited I am and how great this is going to be, but let's be honest, if you saw the last Tong video, ay, 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 ay. we tried to make a Chinese cow tong, so we grilled it. And we sliced it really fine, like super, super fine, and then carved it even more and then grilled it and it came out like grilled calamars when it's not even properly cooked. I wasn't too happy with the outcome then. But I am assured by a lot of you guys, my audience, that smoked cow tongue is delicious. So forget about the whole cow grilling thing. We're gonna smoke cow tongue today. And, well, if it's going to be good, I don't know. We'll have to find out together. These beauties right here are our tongs. Look at them. Beautiful, big ass cow tongs. <laughs> They're so big, they're so huge. I honestly, last time I had a veal tongue, not a real cow tongue, I had a veal tongue and it was much smaller. This is like giant size. I'm going to start by brining our cow tongs and I need a non ferro tray in which I'm going to put around four liters of water. One onion cut in four, four cloves of garlic, smashed of course, 10 juniper berries, two bay leaves, five twigs of thyme and a quarter cup of coarse sea salt. Start whisking until all of the sea salt disappears. Place in the cow tongs and our brine is done. Before I'm gonna put this in my fridge, I wanna to talk to you guys about the brine real quick. I've talked to butchers, I've, I've studied it online, I've studied it everywhere I could get information from. I listened to these people and my butcher said, brine it with a little bit of colorosal salt, pink salt, and it's going to turn nice and pink. And I said, well, what for? And he said, well, you can keep it for two weeks then. I said, well, that's great, but why would I keep something for two weeks if I want to eat it the same day? And he said, well, typically in the Netherlands, people slice it up and put it on their sandwich. That's not what we're doing. We are smoking it. We are eating it straight away. So I said, forget about the pink salt. Yes, we're not going to have that super pink color on the inside but we are going to be rid of all the chemicals that we don't need. So we have a beautiful brined cow tongue with a very tasty brine in about two days time. So let's put this in the fridge and uh, see you guys on the other side of two days. Well, two days later, yes, it's a long brining time. They're done. So we're gonna pat them dry. That's one, two. They don't look more delicious. <laughs> no, of course not. They just look a little bit more pale. But we're going to pat them super, super dry. This is an important part, otherwise it's not gonna pick up any smoke. As dry as we possibly can, and then we'll fire up our barbecue. Our tongs are on our burnout smoker. We set it to a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius. We're gonna be cooking this for a long time and the tongue is well protected by the skin so I'm not worried about drying out. But there's something important to note here. I didn't put a barbecue rub on the skin of the tongue. That's because we're going to take it off later and all of the rub will not penetrate into the skin. It's just too tough. Our tongs are ready. Look at them. They look still gnarly, but they look smoked. And that's a good thing. And if I touch the skin, it feels like a leather, like a parchment consistency. That's more like it. And look at this, like, what's that? The one in the back cooked to a temperature of 96 degrees Celsius, and the one up front cooked to a temperature of 92 degrees Celsius. This wasn't planned, but I like it because now I can compare the perfect doneness for a tongue. Which one is better? The one that we cooked up further or the one that we cooked to a lower temperature? First, we're gonna get them off the grill. Now 
now we have to get the outside of the tongue off, which basically is the skin. So I'm using my knife to start opening it up and slowly carve the way in. Whoa, look at that, half of it looks like pulled beef. This is what I mean, it's like you can pull it off, but it's so juicy and so tender that some of the meat is coming off as well. And the way they told me, it's done when you can pull off the skin. There we go. It smells like beef ribs. It smells really like beef ribs, right? And look at how juicy that is. Look at all the juices running here. We're gonna carve into this right now because I need to take a look inside. Whoa! <laughs> look at that! Look at the smoke ring. Look at how juicy it is. This is insane. If I'm smelling this now and I'm looking at it, I'm getting so hungry. I just wanna dive into it right now. I was planning on waiting for like a half an hour, let it rest and do a whole barbecue sauce and a barbecue rub thing. Forget about all that. I'm going to eat it. Look at it! <laughs> Isn't that a surprise in the end? It looks so good and it, it's freaking awesome! It smells like beef ribs and like brisket and all the good stuff that come to mind when smoking beef. Man, this is really fantastic. I didn't expect this, but I don't know, it doesn't look great. That's like, that's it. I gotta be honest about that, but we're just gonna try and if it just tastes as awesome as it smells, we're gonna be good. I feel scared. I am scared. Don't look at it. It's too soft, isn't it? It's so weird. It's exactly like a good brisket, only it's scary soft. This is too much nice, and that makes it weird. It's so soft. Is it bad? No, it's not bad. Is it good? No, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. It shouldn't be soft. It shouldn't be soft. I want to keep eating. Mmm. We shouldn't recommend this to people, right? We shouldn't. I, th I don't think we should recommend this. I don't know, man. I always know what to say, but I don't know what to say now. I think I have my verdict. This is really tender brisket kind of meat. There's so much stuff going on in the tongue <laughs> that there are a lot of pieces that you don't want to eat. This is the area where it gets weird. This is the area that's really soft, really tender. There's nothing going, going on there that's, that's strange, that feels strange in your mouth. But this is, it is really soft and it's really, <laughs> it's really juicy. I want my drink. I'm quitting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's like weird, man. If you enjoyed it, you're weird. And if you like tongue, you're weird. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Thank you, patrons and YouTube members. You guys freaking rock. It's freaking awesome. Thank you for emotionally draining me with this tongue. See you guys next time. Until then. Hey, smuggler. And don't eat tongue. <laughs> Cheers, guys. It's weird. It's weird, Morrison. I know. I want to see my mommy. This is not good weird. No. I need to get this texture out of my head now. It's, it's it's good. It, yeah, it's it, yeah. That's just stupid stuff. It's like it's. It, I feel like, like one of those persons that don't like that doesn't like stuff, but should should really get over it. Maybe if someone colored this it, Maybe. for us and put it in a taco. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Would, I, I, we would I, love I, it. I, I would kind of accept it. No, no, accept it. no, no, no. You would love it. You would like be like, whoa, what's that? That's really nice. That's the juiciest brisket I would ever have. It's so juicy, it's so tender, 
the both were cooked. It doesn't matter if you cooked it to 92 or 96. It was perfect. Maybe, maybe that's the whole problem. It lacks structure. Yeah, that's it. That's why it's we like, like the skirt steaks. It's the same reason why some wagyu's get boring after a while because it's too much fat, too much juice. It's too nice. It's too nice. But they're not so nice, boys. No. Cheers to the not so nice boys. <laughs>